Jacks. This is Cindy, Palm Springs Cindy, and I am inviting you to go along with me today. I have a, a couple fun things to do, and so I thought this would be sort of a fun vlog. And so I, I'm inviting you to come with me to a place called Shields Date Gardens. And Shields Date Gardens has been in, it's in a city called Indio, which is about 50, it takes me about an hour to drive there, but um, it's worth it. And we're going to have our ladies mini retreat at Shields Date Garden. And so I'll be, I'll be sharing pictures of the gardens with you and hopefully I can get some video of me at the gardens. I'm gonna be with two of my, I'm meeting two of my lady friends from church. And so we are just going to do a walkthrough, a walkthrough uh, to, you know, to kind of like finalize where the coffee's gonna be, um, where they're gonna set up our lunch tables and lunch buffet. So, um, I'm excited. To, we've already been there once and we've made all the re paperwork reservations. So now today we're going to go and walk around again and sort of get a, a visual of everything that we have finalized. So um, I'm not going to make you ride with me the whole 50 minutes, <laughs> but I did want to, in, you know, let you know this is what we're going to do today. I decided to take a little bit of film footage on my way to Shields Date Garden. So we are on Highway 111 and notice how beautiful the palm trees are, how well manicured the grass is. I think we are in around the Indian Wells area here for those of you who are familiar with the desert. and. Um, Yes, Indian Wells, Indian Wells Country Club. Now we are going through La Quinta, so we're getting closer to Indio. Here we are at Shields Date Gardens. And I'm parking, and I took this picture. Here we are walking in the grounds or along the grounds. Beautiful pathways, big wide pathways. And I'm kind of entering on the side of the gardens. And uh, you'll see that I'm coming upon an outdoor patio area. There we are, outdoor patio. You can tell that this is an older establishment. And they do advertise that the romance and sex life of the date, the fertilization of the date trees. This is the inside of the shop, and you can see all the different wares that they sell and carry. Lot, a lot of things all have to do with dates. This is the outdoor eating area where you can have lunch or breakfast. This is the gift shop. Here we are on one of the pathways, walking along the pathway. And at the end of the pathways, there are several pathways in the gardens. But at the end of the pathways, there's it's kind of like a little cul-de-sac. And then there is a larger than life statue that um, replicates a scene from the Bible. So this is Jesus on a donkey, Passover. And um, so our ladies ministry group will enjoy coming to this and talking, reflecting about these different stories in the Bible, these different novellas or tableaus that are presented by the different statues at the end of each pathway. The grounds are absolutely beautiful.
where we will stop and have lunch. Now this is um, me driving home and I just thought I would show you, uh, you know, what Palm Springs really looks like with these beautiful mountains and on the right you'll see these white condominiums this is actually these the condos on the right were built around 1970 in the 70s and on the left you'll see uh it's that's like a golf club house where the golfers can go in and get a sandwich or a cold beer or whatever and um and there's some more of the white condominiums that were built like around in the 70s but you can tell they still look good and to the left that area right there used to have big beautiful hotel on it but that is Indian owned land and so the Indians chose to knock that hotel down I, I'm not sure why but that's why it looks so kind of flat and um, a, a lot of our land is Indian owned, Native American owned. And so we do have to lease our property from the Indians. Not everybody, it depends upon if you buy on Indian land. The place to the right is called the Riviera, I believe. And those are like vacation condos. A lot of people go there, stay there for spring break or whatever. That's the side of the hotel that was demolished. Uh, you can see Paso's big boulders. And I believe I'm waiting to turn here. But once again, you know, straight ahead, more condos. But the mountains really define our desert because, because of those mountains. The, it, those mountains hold back the smog from Los Angeles and hold back the cold weather and the cloudiness from the Los Angeles area. So on our side of the mountains, it remains a desert climate, a desert flora and fauna. So you can see our land is perfectly flat and then it just goes sky high on those mountains. A nice hiking trail there you can see. Straight, straight, straight ahead are some very beautiful Indian canyons with a beautiful oasis, more than one oasis. And it's a real tourist um, place to go. People like to go there as tourists to see the Indian canyons. And then here we are, I'm, I'm driving closer to my home. To the left is a golf course. our desert landscaping which it, which looks lovely I'm trying to get a shot of the golf course there because there's an empty lot ahead you're gonna there are two big um, developments housing developments one is quite modern it's this one on the on the white with the white wall around it those homes are pretty modern they're very new and then uh, next to that the homes are more of a Spanish style and those homes are also quite new big development area there then there's our wash and our Golden Gate Bridge. And then here are some mountains. Of, you see the big wash there that if you kept, went into those mountains, you'd get back into the Indian canyons. 
but straight ahead you'll see some switchbacks of hiking trails. That's a, a very popular hiking spot. And my video is about to come to an end. So thank you for joining me. And until our next conversation.